Hello Taurus, welcome to the channel, Irish Donna Tarot, the mutual recent energy between you and your pet person. Ooh, the Four of Wands, energy, nice energy, stability, happiness. You may be married to this person, you may be discussing marriage, but it is a very strong foundation. The mutual energy right now is that there seems to be you're very you're both very self-protective. You're holding back Capricorn energy, Aries energy, hmm, Four of Cups, protecting your heart. Both of you are protecting your heart. How your person views the situation, I feel like they are locked out. Uh, it looks like you're not speaking currently. The way they see you is very defensive, very much guarding the gate. You are not. There's something that you're upset about. They feel remorse and regret. They feel really upset because you are not speaking to them. They're trying to manifest you back, Taurus. Your person has very high standards, and your person totally expects you to meet those standards. With the Four of Wands, this happily ever after, it's a marriage card. You know, it really indicates the foundation of a relationship. And again, it can it's like the honeymoon card, very powerful energy. But the Four of Coins says that you're both, you know, you're you're not really giving yourselves to each other, Taurus. The Ace of Swords, your person sees the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and that is the only thing they want to hear. If you ever were to lie to your person, it would be very detrimental to the relationship. Holding back is detrimental. Five of Coins indicates that, Taurus, your person feels left out in the cold. Okay, the mutual energy between the two of you that's hidden is this very passionate, beautiful Leo energy. We have the King of Wands, so it shows that both of you really want, you're on the same page. In terms of what you want, it's how you get there. So let's see what Spirit is recommending at this time in this energy. Love each other. Tell each other you love each other. Love each other deeply. Surrender to love. That is the advice of spirit. Cancerian energy. This is Virgo and um, Gemini energy. So what's the outcome of the relationship at this time? Well, you have winner, winner, chicken dinner. We have a victory. It does look like both of you want to spend a lot of time this summer having a lot of fun. It looks as though you want to spend a lot of social time out and about, going to festivals, <laughs> anti-pandemic. <laughs> this is very happy energy. But it is very much that both of you want a victory in love. A lot of fiery energy here, Taurus. A lot of fiery energy here. So let's look and see what the clarifiers are for this relationship reading. Why is the Four of Wands in the past? Oh, victory. A victory because in the past the two of you really showed how committed you were to the relationship. It's you're super happy with each other. It couldn't be better. You've never been this happy with anybody, nor has your person ever been this happy with anyone else overall. Both of you want a victory. Both of you want to have a really great relationship in which you're very social with the outside world, with other people. They want everybody to know you. They, both of you really want to be a very public couple. It also looks like both of you would be very happily married, maybe. It does show, though, with Leo energy as a victory. Whenever there's a victor, there's a loser. So it does look like there's some ego in this relationship. Taurus, why is the, the Four of Pentacles here? Why are you both holding back? You're both holding back on love. Come on. Well, okay. Why does your person feel left out in the cold, Taurus? They're not really left out in the cold. It's sort of a self-imposed sort of a, a sadness because what we see here, Taurus, is that the key to this door is right here. The key to opening the door is right in front of them, but their head is down. They don't really see it. So your person is a bit pessimistic. We also, here you are, Taurus, the Taurus king is reversed. 
Taurus, your person feels as though you're selfish or self-centered or they feel as though you're holding back. Very much so. Okay. The Taurus King reversed is somebody who tends to keep their money to themselves. They tend not to share so easily. So your person, Taurus, feels as though you're not really very giving, that, you know, you don't really care about their, their comfort. I hate to say that, but, you know, I do think this energy may be vice versa also. Here we go. Taurus, your person views you as the Aries Queen. Just out there, you know, they see you as a person who's very attractive, very fiery, very beautiful, and they feel as though you aren't totally all in on this relationship. It makes them feel defensive. Two of Swords. Your person, Taurus, is trying to manifest you, and yet it doesn't look like, like you're talking. I feel as though the two of you go sometimes a long period of time without really having clear communication. There's definitely communication problems. Things are not as they seem. The Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords indicates that your person wants to have a fiery new beginning with you, Taurus, but they do want the truth. They feel as though if they don't really know how you feel, if you're really not as passionate as they are about the relationship, your person feels as though you will walk away or they will walk away. I view them as... I view your person as wanting this relationship, but they think that if they don't come through the way that you need them to, that you will walk away. Okay? So that's how they view the relationship. They feel as though, yeah, that there's going to be a tower moment. That's Aries energy also. So you might be dealing with an Aries. And it looks like it really makes them sad. So there's a sort of weird energy that's going on here that I see that both of you hold back. Both of you want the same thing, but somebody looks as though, and Taurus, it does look as though your person thinks that you just are not willing to give to them. They really do. They think that you keep your money to yourself, you keep your assets to yourself, that you really don't maybe love them enough or feel passionate enough about them to really make them feel comfortable and loved and adored. Okay, well, you know, feelings are feelings, but this is where your person's coming from is what it looks like. Again, energies can be vice versa. The hidden energy between the two of you is so that you both want to invest, seven of coins. You know, you're both really invested in this. The two of cups says that you're like a married couple. You may live together. It looks like you do. It looks as though when the fiery passion is hot, when it's hot, it's hot, baby. It's very hot, and it's very loving. So why does Spirit say to show your love in a more obvious way? Why is Spirit advising that? Why is Spirit advising that? Let go. Throw caution to the winds is what Spirit is saying. Spirit is saying, you know, old wounds from childhood, old wounds from old relationships are really interfering in this relationship, and it's not helping you. It's not achieving anything. Holding back is doing nothing but stunting the relationship. You know, it's understandable, right? Yeah, devil energy reversed. I'd rather see it in the reverse than the upright. We love the devil energy reversed because it says that there's been some toxicity. Both of you have histories of having failures or feeling unloved in a relationship, and this is a manipulation. Whatever manipulation your person, Taurus, feels as though secretly they manipulate you. I feel like there's games that are played or... You know, I feel as though with this devil reverse, neither one of you wants this energy. But when you feel defensive, you both get controlling. The devil card is about kind of trying to control another person in an unhealthy way. And we're not supposed to control other people. So what I see is that when you're trying to manifest each other, you both start to feel lonely. You start to feel hopeless. You feel like it's time to throw the towel in. 
So to me, I'm really seeing this. Here's the Taurus Empress, okay. And we have the Page of Swords. You watch each other on social media. <clears throat> You're not choosing each other actively, even when you don't hold back. You need to make public declarations that you've made the decision to be together. I feel like there's something with the social media, holding back on social media, that it's really sending a message to your person, Taurus, that you might not love them as much as you've loved other people. Your person is reading the, the signals. I think they're reading the signals accurately. I feel as though there's a broken communication style that comes from years of being secretive. The King of Pentacles reversed is not talking about his wealth. It's not talking. It's like, I have all this money, but I'm going to keep it a secret. And so Taurus, your person feels as though you have secrets. So let's see what Wisdom of the Oracle says about this relationship as an overall energy. Spirit, please tell us what Taurus needs to know about this energy at this time. Truth be told, the truth be told is that you really love each other and that both of you hold back and it has a very negative effect and impact on this relationship. You both want peace, you both want happiness, you both want to have a happy life. And let's see. Yin energy. You're both to, you know, this really speaks to the fact that you are not robust enough with each other. You have a tendency to, you know, go back in your corner and nobody's taking the lead and both of you are feeling wary of each other. Both of you are feeling sort of unloved. It's not helpful, you know, and both of you have a lot of pride. You have a lot of pride here, Taurus. Let's, let's see what the messages of love are for you. What does Taurus need to know about this relationship? What does Taurus need to know at this time? Warning, don't, don't dismiss the red flags. So, for those of you who saw the Aries reading, there was, truth be told, there were some warning signs there too. Don't dismiss abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. So again, this Taurus energy says that there's a lot of abundance for Taurus. So, but that's a red flag if you're holding back and your person feels left out in the cold. New love, a new love or a recommitment to love is developing. Okay, so it does look as though you're going to take this energy. It does look like you're going to really... Try to manifest each other and try to give up some of these old bad habits. Let's see what the Sacred Destiny Oracle has for you at this time, Taurus. Tell us about Taurus' journey in love. Solitude. Both of you need to do a lot of thinking here. Both of you need to really look at yourselves. Uh, I do think sometimes you're too much in solitude. Sometimes I feel that that gets in the way. I feel as though... Too much time is spent that way. You're not communicating enough. Adventures is what you need right there. You need to have some really good old-fashioned adventure. Throw caution to the winds. It looks as though when you're around, you know, sort of in your home or sequestered away too much, it looks like you go quiet. There's a power struggle going on, but it is a powerful relationship. You're a power couple. You have to find your way. I do think there's real challenges here, but let's see what we get from the Heart of the Fairy Oracle in terms of how this is going to turn out. Let's see for our beautiful Taurus friends, what will be the path that gets chosen? We're going to get three cards. Three cards. Short-term love for Taurus. The Green Woman. So beautiful energy. Down-to-earth, grounded energy. The Queen of Passage, getting through this conflict successfully. Mushrooms, knock off the BS, guys. Knock it off. Both of you get into this dark place. Mushrooms go in, grow in the dark with manure, okay? So don't get all up in your heads. The Smith is the ability to really make the decision to forge ahead. Do the work. 
both of you get in this energy of being of two minds. So the two of you have to be really clear about making an absolute decision to move forward together. It's like, you know, the, the foot is, you know, one foot is in, one foot is out. And what happens is when you stay away from each other and you don't share your thoughts and you don't share your feelings and you're not out doing, having adventures together, the energy between the two of you gets stagnant and then it looks as though you both hold back again. So, Taurus, Taurus, this is a solvable problem. So if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Isn't that the old saying? So I'm going to leave it there for you, Taurus. You have a beautiful love relationship that has communication issues. That's how I'm reading this. You both have to be willing to come to the table. Taurus, you're here in the reading. Your lover is not, so I'm going to put some of the responsibility on you to really do some of the work. So sending you love. Bye-bye.